Today I'm gonna to go through the L sit to handstand. So it's like a handstand push up, we're gonna use a bit of momentum going from the L sit through to that shoulder stand position and then pushing up to a handstand. We can break it down into different components. So obviously we have the L sit and that can be hard position, easier position. We have the handstand. Now ideally you need to have a handstand for this one. You don't have to do it on the P-bars. You could do it between two boxes or two surfaces, but ideally you'll have a bit of clearance because that makes it a bit easier for the feet. We have the shoulder stand. Now that could be done in a tuck position or it could be done in a straight position. But notice both the tuck and the straight has an angle because the shoulder and head are in front of the hands and below the feet will be behind and above. And then we can just play with putting those together. So the first combination we can go from is between the shoulder stand and the L sit. And then back from the uh, L sit to the shoulder stand. We then have the handstand lower to the shoulder stand, which is like your eccentric handstand push-up. And then from your shoulder stand, through to your L sit. Now you can obviously split those up and work on the bits that you need to work on, aiming to build control and time under tension in each of those elements. So you could do the static holds or you can do the dynamic transitions between them. Most people will find the eccentrics much easier. So coming down from the handstand to the shoulder stand, from the shoulder stand back through to the L sit. Now ideally when we start working the concentric was going to keep it nice and slow and controlled but the movement does allow you to be quite dynamic and use some momentum to get through sticking points. Just be careful you obviously don't back splat. So I can move dynamically from the L sit to the shoulder stand or ideally I'll do it controlled. I can do a dynamic shoulder stand like from a tuck up to a handstand. Or I can do it controlled. Well, I can do the full movement, so L sit to shoulder stand to handstand, either dynamically or controlled. So again, we can break that up into the individual components, the static holds, so the shoulder stand, the L sit, the handstand. We can do eccentric movements, so handstand down to shoulder stand, shoulder stand through to L sit. We can do dynamic concentric, so going back up and down. You could also do partial range and then all the way through to the full movement. And we can do it on boxes, we can do it on P-bars, we can do it between two chairs. I got this before my press to handstand, so it's a cool move to play around with and definitely more accessible if you're a bit more strength oriented than flexibility. Let me know down in the comments how you got on with this one. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.